Hi guys, it's uh, Marcus here. I wanted to show you how uh, you can use the, the Cloud Connector, the HANA Cloud Platform, and uh, SAP Web IDE to basically build uh, Fury or mobile apps um, using your on-premise uh, ECC system. So the scenario is as follows. So we have uh, you have a notebook and you install the SAP Cloud Connector and um, you basically connect that to your on-premise gateway and then you register that with the HANA Cloud Platform and you're going to use the, we're going to use the SAP Web IDE um, to develop Fury apps. So what happens is uh, we're going to do some setup steps then we're going to do some you know, basically template coding preview the application and uh, can simulate the application in the preview and then we're going to use the QR code to display the same application on on the device okay let's get started so first thing is um, if you just google um, cloud connector you'll find uh, the website it's also on the reference or in the comment section so you install this cloud connector and uh, the one thing you have to do is basically just register your device, uh, your ECC system, or in this case, the, uh, the gateway system. Pretty straightforward. You have to tell, the one thing you have to tell him what kind of O data it understands. And it's basically, you just give him the path here. Um, there's a nice documentation how to do all this stuff. So once you have that installed and hooked up to your on-premise gateway system, you're going to do a similar thing in the cloud. So again, you're going to have to sign up on the Gahana cloud platform. There's a nice trial account, doesn't expire. So you go to destinations. And here you should see the destination. So the one thing happens is uh, you're not going to use a real server names. So you're going to use, your, you know, something virtual and then what system it is, and, you know, some sort of uh, system ID. Again, simple setup. Um, the one thing you have to be careful, it's uh, this time it, it's you specify the type is on premise and it basically uses this, you know, the virtual host name and port number to communicate. Then there's a couple parameters. Again, you have to specify what kind of uh, old data it, it is, like if it's generic or specific other thing that basically makes it uh, pop up in different places in the web ID. So once you have that going, then um, the one other thing you have to do is you have to subscribe to the SAP web ID. Again, it's pretty straightforward. You click on subscription, new subscription, and it should show up. You might have to register, but uh, it should be straightforward. So obviously, in most cases, we will have this um, uh, this web service, like this flight collector web service, where we can actually um, log on to the system. Oops. So this is a standard flight service, which is um, giving us, uh, you know, the description of the different collections you can you can uh, retrieve from here. So, so this service we're going to need to build uh, with this service we're going to build a, a Fury app basically. So what we're going to do is we go back to our cloud, so we go here to our subscription of the Web IDE. We fire up the Web IDE. So Web IDE comes back up. So going to do is we're going to create a new one, a uh, new template, uh, I'm just going to use this master thing here, project name, file, demo, so we're going to say, okay, we go our virtual system. What's going to happen? It's going via my notebook to our to our uh, gateway system and pulls the data. 
for demo purposes, I use the SAP uh, public one here. So what we can do is we're going to use for our so this flight service here. So we're going to say next. So flight search. Flight search. So here we should see the data collection. So we're going to search for carrier. Carrier name. Carrier code. And we're going to keep it simple. And repeat this here. Details actually again. Carrier name, carrier code. Obviously, there's different collections you can use. Uh, we just here for demo purposes. We're gonna. Okay. So what's gonna happen? It's it's taking the the service data and uh, the template data and builds a model and uh, the rendering mechanics basically using SAP UI5 and so forth. So here we have now our application. If I go in here, let's make sure we call this uh, demo. Flight search. That's all. Yeah, this is just for demonstration purposes. So, to save this guy. Okay. So, we're going to do a preview. Here I have the data. So, we get here the, the little flow we have. And uh, you can search by the code, not by the name for some reason. And again, this works in different resolution. Password again. And, um, so that's pretty good. So the next thing I wanted to do is this is nice little feature here where you can use a QR code. So I'm going to use my phone to get this QR code. And then to show you that that actually works, I'm just going to mirror my phone here. So you see, this is actually now on my phone. You might ask us for a password again, but that should pretty much, uh, yeah, let's ask for the password. I have to use the keyboard here. So you see that the application is actually, it's really nice for testing. It's available on, on the internet and we can um, use this for prototyping and so forth. Okay. Okay, there's a couple more features. You can obviously check in the code and so forth. And once you check in the code, uh, it integrates with JitHub and so forth. So there's, it's it's not bad. It's like it's really nice for um, uh, HTML5 uh, development. And when you integrate this, you have your you basically get a fixed URL here. So it's pretty good. Went through this scenario. We installed the cloud connector, we hooked it up to the HTTP cloud, we set the HTTP cloud up, we subscribed to the web IDE, we did some preview and uh, we were able to run the application on the on the phone. So if you have any questions, drop me a note. Here are the references and uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, cheers.